Hey, we're backstage at the subway stage, and the group Holy, well, I can't actually tell you their name. And I can't tell you their name because 10 months of the year I'm a school teacher, and I can't swear on a publicly broadcasted entity, even like our wonderful Blues Fest blog here. So their Holy F or Holy Fire Truck and the IR and the truck are silent. All kinds of activity going on around us. Back here, the m gentlemen who are in the band are just arrived, and they're setting up all this elaborate gear, crazy kind of electronic stuff, foot pedals, which they don't play with their feet, which they play with their hands. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back here and talk to the members of the band and figure out how they make the amazing, unique sounds that are holy fire truck with the ire and the truck silent. They've just arrived on site. They've got one of the most kind of crazy, wonderful setups of gear, but they've just arrived. They're not going to get a full sound check or any of that kind of stuff. But what I thought what we would do is explore the gear that these guys use because it's a very um, unconventional approach to making music live on stage. What have we got here, and how do you get this all patched in quickly enough to get a gig tonight? Um, well, unfortunately, it's already sort of pre-patched, so I, I only just have to plug in like two, four patch cords and uh, one power bar. Most people would be playing these things with their feet. If, I, if I'm correct, your guitarists or synthesizer players would be popping these things with their feet, but you guys hang over these and you're tweaking knobs. And it's a lot more fun than playing with your hands, let me tell you. Yeah. You can do a lot more things with them with your hands than with your feet. I think it's just natural as a musician, at least for us, just wanting to explore sound and push the boundaries with what, what our gear could do and what we could do. I mean, we all played in rock bands and I played, both Brian and I played guitar and we, I don't know, we're still kind of like, still had all these pedals lying around and stuff and we were always fascinated with what they could do and, and, and uh, how they could process the sound like guitars and this is just sort of taking it to a next level, I guess. Would you be messing around with stuff that maybe you've never done before that you're messing around with now that might make it into the set tonight, or is that too far-fetched? No, that's sort of how it works. I mean, we tend to do it a little less, you know, now that we play every day. and Every show to the next starts to feel, you know, you, you sort of you, you pack up one night, put it all away, the next day you just open it up and start where you left off. There's a little less time for that reinterpretation than maybe when we started out. It's a lot of fun. Hey, check this out. I've never used this before, but a friend of mine just handed this to me. It's the Randy Bachman. American Woman pedal, so I don't know, maybe something cool is going to happen with that. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it doesn't start sounding, making my stuff sound like his voice. Right? I don't know. I mean, he's a singer too, right? So there's no guarantee. 